Disco party, disco party, yahoo! Today's the last video of Judy Moody was in a mood. Um, after this video, I will be looking for some more books, fun books to read to you all. So, I hope you enjoy today's video. The meat collage. Stink watched Judy finish her collage after school the next day. Almost done, said Judy. It's due tomorrow. Stink pointed. You still have a bald spot right there next to the picture of Jaws. Judy carefully taped a doll hand from her collection over the empty space. Not anymore, she said. That hand? Is that what a trick you played on me? Asked Stink. Yes. It is the funniest thing ever, said Judy with a grin. You mean you're going to tell your whole class? I thought there was, I thought there was someone in our toilet. Stink, I'm making you famous. Couldn't you change my name or something? Asked Stink, or something, said Judy. When Judy got up the next morning, it was pouring rain again. Something told her to get ready for a bad mood Friday. Let's put your meat collage in a garbage bag so it won't get wet, Dad suggested when, he, when she brought it downstairs. Dad, I'm not carrying my meat collage in a garbage can. In a bag. Why not? Did Van Gogh put his starry night in a garbage bag? She's got a point there, said Mom. Garbage bags probably hadn't been invented yet, said Dad. If Van Gogh had invented garbage bags, if Van Gogh had garbage bags, believe me, he would have been smart enough to use them. Honey, why don't you take the bus and Dad will bring your collage to school after he takes Stink to the dentist. Mom said, Stink's taking Toady to school today, so Dad has to drop him off anyway. I want to take my collage to school myself. That way, I can be sure nothing will happen to it. What could happen to it? asked Mom. There could be a tornado, said Stink. And the wind could make you drop it and you could get run over by a bus. Har har har, said Judy. You do have a lot of other stuff to carry, said her, said her mom. Judy had her lunch, her dad's lab coat so she could dress like a doctor for her talk, had a gabetta, her doctor kit, and plenty of band-aids. Okay, she said, but don't squish anything. And don't get it wet, and it has to be there by 11 o'clock, and don't let Stink do anything to it. She gave her brother her best troll eyes stare. We'll be careful, said Dad. Judy rode the bus with Rocky, who was practicing his squirt, squirting nickel trick on her for the 100th time. Okay, it worked, Judy told him, wiping drips from his, her face. Rocky cracked up. All morning, Judy imagined things happening to her collage. What if it fell into a puddle and when her dad opened it, the car door? What if Toady got out of Stink's pocket and peed on the collage? What if a tornado came, like Stink said? Eleven o'clock came and her collage was not there. No sign of Stink or Dad. Judy could hardly listen to the other kids showing their collages. She kept her eyes glued to the doors of free tea. Judy, would you like to go next? Asked Mr. Todd, startling her. I'd like to go last, said Judy. Frank? I like to go last, too, said Frank. After Judy. Judy looked at Frank's desk. Where's your meat collage? She asked him. I didn't bring it. I mean, I'm not finished. I still don't have a club. Frank whispered. Where's yours? My brother's supposed to bring it, said Judy. She glanced at the door again. There he was, Stink motioned for her to come out into the hall. Stink looked sick. What's wrong? Judy asked. If I tell you, said Stink, you'll be in the worst mood ever. Where is it? asked Judy. Did you drop my collage in a puddle? Did Toady, did Toady pee on it? No, said Stink. Not that. Where is it? She asked again. Dad's in the boys' room, drying it off. 
think Judy ran down to the boys' room, pushed the door open, and went right in. Crumpled paper towels were everywhere. Dad! Judy! Is it ruined? Let me see! Dad held up her collage. Right there, smack in the center, was a big puddle stain the size of a pancake. Not a silver dollar one, either. A giant jaggedy triangle, a great colored lake floating in the middle of her collage. Uh-oh. What happened? Judy yelled. I was drinking jungle juice from a box, said Stinky, standing behind her in the doorway. And trying to sing with my straw. I'm sorry. Stink! You wrecked it! Dad, how could you let him drink jungle juice in the car? Look, it's not that bad, he said. It almost looks like he's supposed to be there. I'll speak with Mr. Todd. Maybe he'll let you have the weekend and we can fix it up. Cover it up somehow. Maybe we can erase it, said Stink. But giant eraser. Let me see. Judy held up the collage, looking it over. Even with the purple stain, she could still see the rainforest with Dr. Judy Moody in the very middle. None of the band-aids had come off. Never mind, said Judy. Never mind, asked Dad. It's okay, she said. At least it didn't get run over by a bus in a tornado. It's okay? You mean you're not going to put a rubber foot in my bed or anything? No, said Judy. But she grinned at her brother. It's a good idea, though. Look, honey, I know you worked forever on this. We'll make it up to you somehow. I know what to do, Stink. Let me have your black marker. They all went out into the hall, and Stink dug the marker from his backpack. Judy set the collage on the floor and drew a big outline around the big purple triangle. Are you cuckoo? asked Stink. That will make it stand out even more. That's what I want, said Judy. Then it looked like that it was supposed to be there all the time. I'm proud of you, Judy, said Dad. The way you took an accident like this and turned it into something good. What's it supposed to be? Stink asked. Virginia, she said. The state of Pocahontas and Thomas Jefferson, the place where I live. Band-Aids and ice cream. When Judy got to class, she put on her doctor coat, walked to the front of the room, and held her meat collage high. She stood tall, as if her brother had not nearly ruined her masterpiece with jungle juice. She tried to look like a person who would grow up to be a doctor and make the world a better place. A person who could turn a bad mood right around. Cool. Judy told about herself and her family, including the time Stink sold moon dust, which explained why her brother was a piece of dirt. She traced the outline of her Virginia with her finger to show where she lived. She talked about Rocky, her best friend, and Frank, her new friend. Stink pointed to a paste jar lid taped to a corner and told the class that Frank ate paste for a dare once. Is that Jaws? asked Brad. The thing that eats bugs? Yes, said Judy. Even though I have a cat, Jaws is my favorite pet. When I grow up and become a doctor, I want to move to the rainforest and search for medicines and rare plants that could cure ucky diseases. Judy pointed the pizza table from Mr. Todd and the other stuff she collected for hobbies. She told the class that she was a member of the TP club, but... She couldn't tell them what TP stood for. This is a picture my mom took of Stink. Standing outside the White House in his flight costume, and she explained why it was the worst thing that ever happened to her. Everybody's favorite part of her collage was when she showed the doll hand coming out of the magazine toilet. So Judy told them about the worst thing that turned into the funniest thing ever. Ready to see it, Deborahina? I'm gonna show you Judy Moody's me collage. All right, here goes nothing. Look at that, that's amazing.
who I am, my favorite pet, the, to the toilet in the hand, the mom and dad, the dirt, all the band-aids, the rainforest magazine, I ate a shark shirt, just a big triangle, which is Virginia, the tree bark, her house, just Frank and Rocky. She loves to eat ice cream and she loves things from the rainforest. There you go. Awesome, Judy. Any questions? She asked the class. Who's the old lady? Asked Frank. Judy explained that Elizabeth Blackwell, first woman doctor, and then she gave a demonstration of her doctor skills. She put Rocky's arm in a sling and wrapped bandages around Frank's knee. She pulled out her pretend blood and used Hedda Gabetta to show how to apply band-aids. That's me, Judy Moody. Great job, Judy, said Mr. Tuck. Class, any comments? I liked how you painted Virginia in the middle of your collage to show where you live, said Jessica Finch, instead of just using a picture of your house. Those tattoo band-aids are the most coolest. I have a blister. Can I have one? I have a hangnail. I have a paper cut. I have a mosquito bite. Before Judy knew it, everyone in the whole class was wearing tattoo band-aids. Judy Moody, you're a mover and a shaker, said Mr. Todd. I am? asked Judy. What's that mean? Mr. Todd laughed. Let's just say it means you have imagination. What had almost become a very bad mood Friday had turned into one very fine day. And it wasn't over yet. When she walked over to get the bus that afternoon, Mom and Dad were waiting to take Judy and Stink for ice cream at Screaming Knees. I'm getting that blue ice cream, main forced mist, rain forced mist, like you guys always do. Stink jumped up and down holding his pocket with the toad. Did your teacher like Toady? Judy asked. Yes, but she was almost in a toad pee club, said Stink. Judy cracked up. Mom, Dad, can I ask Rocky and Frank to come too? That's a great idea, Mom said. Outside screaming memes, Judy licked her rainforest mist ice cream scoop on top of chocolate mud, her favorite. She was in her best Judy moody mood yet. Stink took jo Toady out of his pocket and set him on the picnic table. Toady hopped toward a blue drip from Rocky's ice cream cone. Toady likes rainforest mist, said Rocky. Hey, Frank, Judy asked. When are you going to finish your meat collage? Mr. Todd said I could bring it on Monday. You're not done yet, asked Rocky. I still don't have anything for clubs. The dictionary says a club is free or more people. Judy looked at Rocky. Rocky looked at Stink. Stink looked at Judy. All three of them looked at Frank. If you pick up Toadie right now, you can be in the club, said Judy. Really, asked Frank. Really and truly, said Judy and Rocky at the same time. Frank crinkled his nose. I don't get it. Rocky laughed. You will. Frank scooped up Toadie with one hand. Use both hands, said Judy. Like this, said Rocky, cupping his hands. Just hold him a minute, said Stink. I still don't get it, said Frank. Oh, you'll get it, said Judy, Rocky, and Stink. A second later, Frank felt something warm and wet in his hand. He crossed his eyes and they all fell down laughing. That is the end of today's book. I hope you have enjoyed this book. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.